Imagine this, you're out late on a beautiful summer night surrounded by your friends and family. Suddenly, a red itchy bump appears on your skin and you find yourself scratching yourself non-stop. Your skin reddens and you realize that you have a couple more around your legs. Yep, you guessed it, mosquito bites, and tens of them. This was supposed to be a fun camping trip and suddenly you are more annoyed than ever. Ever wondered what's happening inside your body? What are the cells in your body doing that you can't even see with your eyes? Well, believe it or not, it's all a means of protecting you. To start, let's give you a brief background of how mosquito bites even happen. It sounds a little unpleasant, but a bite originates from female mosquitoes feeding on your blood. Female mosquitoes have a mouth part specifically made to enter the skin and suck out your blood. Male mosquitoes don't have this blood sucking ability because they don't produce eggs and therefore have no need for blood's nutrients. These hungry female mosquitoes select the person that they're going to bite by evaluating their scent through the chemicals in a person's sweat and attraction to exhaled carbon dioxide. Body heat is important too, but once the mosquito gets closer, she will respond to the smell of your skin. As the female mosquito fills itself with your blood, it will simultaneously shoot its saliva into your skin. The saliva contents are essentially what triggers a mild immune response that results in the characteristic itching and bumps on your skin. So, you may be wondering, what's happening inside my body? Well, that's what we are here to explain. The saliva that the mosquito releases contains organic substances called enzymes. Don't be thrown away by all these fancy words. We will define them as we go. These enzymes serve one purpose, which is to stop the blood from clotting and keep it flowing throughout your body. The mosquito will use its specialized system to pump blood cells up towards itself. Once you notice the mosquito and whip it away from your skin, or when it is full from all the blood sucking, it will detach from your skin, leaving an allergic bump. Your body will immediately respond to the enzymes from the mosquito's saliva by what is known as the innate immune system. Your army of cells will come to the bite site and act as the first natural defense to the mosquito's saliva. The innate response's goal is to kill any intruder that is foreign to your body. The first defense mechanism of this response is our skin, the largest organ of our body. We already know that the mosquito can get past this barrier quite easily with their sharp mouth part. When the skin is first injured, your small blood vessels from where the mosquito bit will constrict, meaning they will get tighter to stop the blood from flowing too quickly to other places. Immediately after, the blood vessels will open up, which will increase blood flow to where the mosquito has bitten you. This can last anywhere from 15 minutes to several hours. Next line of defense is acute inflammation, which is caused by an army of cells in your immune system. The first set of cells to act are known as mast cells, which you can think of as security guards, and they are located in your skin and mucus. When they find something suspicious, so in this case the mosquito saliva and its enzymes, the mast cell releases a signal in the form of histamine molecules. Histamine is a signaling molecule that sends messages between cells. During inflammation, histamine molecules alert your body and blood cells are brought to the site. You could think of this as the main security guard calling for backup. The blood also brings in leukocytes, which is just a fancy word for white blood cells that serve to fight any potential infection in the body caused by your itching as you allow in any bacteria and dirt into your skin. Once the leukocyte arrives at the site, things can start to get a little crazy. Leukocytes are an army of cells that can be further broken down into specialized cells. The ones that work specifically for the innate immune system are called phagocytes. Phagocytes can be classified as either neutrophils or macrophages. Firstly, neutrophils are found in the highest numbers in your body. Think of them as the largest army. They patrol the body and look for pathogens and eat them up on the site. After the neutrophils, we have the macrophages, the big eaters, that will appear after 24 to 48 hours. However, macrophages are usually the hallmark of a more chronic inflammatory process. So, it all comes down to one question. Why do you itch? Histamines, like I mentioned earlier, are your body's natural ways to mimic anaphylaxis, which is just an elegant word for an allergic reaction. They are neurotransmitters, meaning they work in your nervous system and send messages to your brain 
that a reaction is occurring in your body, causing you to itch. Now, you're back from your trip and you find that your mosquito bites are still bothering you and you are still extremely uncomfortable. What do you do? Worry not. We have advice to offer from a pharmacist. Guljeet from Shoppers Drug Mart Pharmacy says to firstly refrain from participating in activities at sunset because that is when mosquitoes are most active. She also suggests that wearing long sleeve shirts that are light in color along with some long pants and closed toed shoes. Once you have chosen appropriate clothing, it is best to apply a good sunscreen as a base and then a mosquito repellent over the counter on any exposed skin. If you are experiencing mild symptoms of itchiness, it is advised to wash the area with soap and water and apply an ice pack. You could also apply Benadryl cream, an antihistamine that reduces the itching, or even calamine lotion. If you are experiencing moderate symptoms, you can also purchase 1% hydrocortisone cream over the counter, which will work to reduce your swelling, itching, and redness. You should also monitor for symptoms and improvement. Lastly, if you are experiencing severe symptoms, you may require an EpiPen, but it would be best to see a doctor, perhaps through the emergency room. Now, you're probably curious as to how long it takes for your body to heal from this mosquito bite. Bumps usually arise after 20 minutes of getting bit and will peak within 24 to 36 hours. Most times, the bumps and itchiness can last for several days to a week. Next time someone gets a mosquito bite, you can use your knowledge of innate immunity and the fighter cells that take care of you. We hope that this activated your curiosity for the natural things that you experience on a day-to-day -day basis and think about the science behind it all. Well, that's it for today's video everyone. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to McMaster's Demystifying Medicine's YouTube channel. Thank you.